why. I should have been the one to go. You're a... Don't you realize you were as much his family as I? the ground control come in. The solar panels have failed, the rear thrusters are unresponsive. But I've got just enough fuel to maintain orbital course. Comrades, I wish you could see what I could see. You can't be serious. What about your wife, your kids? Keep it down, Yura. Tanya might hear you. And so what if she does? We have to do something to stop this launch. You've read the reports. Soyuz isn't fit to fly. I've been up there, Vlad. Trust me. You don't want to do this. You, you know the Premier won't cancel the mission. Besides, it's my time to be the hero. Come on, let's just enjoy our dreams. Vlad, listen Boys, to me. Keep it down. Finally got the kids to sleep. We were just finishing our drinks. To my very best friend. Cheers to you. Cheers to us. <laughs> Ground control, come in. I have an air leak in the main tank. With any luck, the emergency reserve will last the rest of the mission. Transmission unclear. Mission control, if you can hear this, I'm initiating countdown to lunar orbit. For your safety. How can you talk about safety? What's the meaning of this? So you can't even leave the atmosphere, let alone orbit the moon. Are you insane? What? What did you say to me, comrade? You heard me. This is madness. We cannot say enough. I am your superior officer. I can have you thrown in the gulag for this. It's not your duty to question any message. Oh. Yura, please! Our comrade, General Sorunyev, has a point. I've already accepted my mission. Besides, old friend, I'm a good pilot. I can make it home. I did it. The moon looks fantastic from close up. On re-entry course now. Over. Entering the stratosphere now. Coming home, Tanya. From up here, in the immensity of space, the world seems so small. And yet, those I love, my wife, my children, my country, and my friend Yuri, will always be worth sacrificing everything. Absolutely.